What's going on everyone? Jack here from Half Chrome and today I'm talking about this. This is the Creality 3D CR6 SE and it's a 3D printer and it's actually the third 3D printer that I've used and it is the most expensive. So it's about $400. It's definitely an upgrade over the Creality Ender 3 V2 specifically um, but is it worth that extra $140? There are some differences, some really unique things that set this apart from the other one. So we're gonna take a look at what those are and uh, you can kind of decide whether or not you wanna go with this upgraded version or if you wanna go with the cheaper Ender 3 version two. Chris is also gonna take a look at this versus the Prusa. Uh, he's got a Prusa model, it's about $400 as well. The Prusa Mini, I believe it is. Hey, what about things in this similar price range? Which one should you opt for? Stay tuned for that video. But today we're talking about this, the Creality CR6 SE and how specifically it compares to the Ender 3 version two. So let me just tell you, I really like this 3D printer. It is the favorite of the three that I've used. And you know, I guess it should be since it is the most expensive, but what's different and really, but let's talk about what makes it different. And I can tell the minute I opened the box that I was gonna like this thing and here's why. It was pre-assembled, right? This whole thing was pretty much put together. I had to add the gentry arm, this display, plug some things in and add filament and I could start printing. I didn't have to assemble each and every little piece, which isn't necessarily super difficult on say the Ender 3, but it is definitely time consuming and you gotta make sure that things are precise, otherwise things just aren't gonna print well. So there's that, you know, you can factor in the time value of money when it comes to assembly. So the real major difference is it's a self-leveling bed. You're not gonna have to worry about sliding that piece of paper and making sure things are just right. Um, and if your bed isn't level, you're not gonna get solid prints. So this self-levels, the hot end goes down and touches, I think it's 16 different points uh, and make sure that this bed is level and adjusts accordingly. It's like magic, it's awesome actually. There are also two Z-axis motors down here. Um, that just kind of ensures that it's smoother and more precise, definite bonus there as well. We've got different extruders and hot ends. I can't necessarily say that they're better, although they are supposed to be, so that's definitely nice. Uh, I do know the, the extruder here senses filament, um, so if you don't have any or it runs out mid-print, it's gonna stop, shut down, and you can kind of adjust things and get it going again, which is definitely a bonus. Now I said this hot end is different. Again, I can't say that it's necessarily better, uh, but it is supposed to be modular. So if you wanna upgrade or change things inside of here, you can. Again, we do have a glass bed. It is a tiny bit larger, so it has a wider footprint. Again, making this a little bit more of a stable machine. So this bed here is also glass, just like the version two is. Uh, we've got textured on one side, smooth on the other. Uh, we do have some quick release uh, mechanisms up here. So if you wanna flip it over, change it, you can do that pretty easily. We have belt tensioners here. Uh, the version two also does, but these look a little bit beefier. So another bonus. Now this handle doesn't look like a pretty big addition, but actually I really like it. Uh, and with that, we move the filament to the side here. And you can see it's on an arm that moves. So you can kind of pivot that out of the way. Again, nice little touch. And you can see this filament here, I got a decent sized roll with this package versus just some random filament <laughs> with the other two Creality uh, printers that I got. Another big upgrade was over here. This is a touch screen, a uh, color touch screen, uh, which, you know, seemed trivial, but I ended up really liking this versus the dial on the other two. Over here, we take a full size SD card, which was included. Now it does say on the website that they, they're not shipping with SD cards for logistical reasons, but mine came with one. Um, there are instructions on the SD card, how to assemble, just a little bit of assembly that you have to do. Um, you also have the new Creality slicer on there, which is kind of nice, uh, fairly intuitive. It took me a minute to get it set up. I had to actually choose the printer and then activate the printer. So I forgot that step. Don't forget to do that. We do have a tray here with some actually some decent tools uh, included, uh, which is definitely really nice. There's some foam in there to kind of keep them all in place. Um, again, nice little touch. 
This does run on a silent motherboard and it really is pretty darn quiet when it prints. You only really hear the fans, which is fantastic. Now the, the version two Ender 3, same thing, um, definitely quiet as well. And certainly an upgrade over the original Ender 3. This model definitely has some upgrades and there are just a lot of little nice things like this uh, shielding cable here and the ties to keep everything nice. You know, this is definitely a more premium product. So is it worth the extra $140 to get this versus say the Ender 3 version 2? Well, I'm not going to tell you how to spend your money. You can kind of make that decision. You know, is it worth it to have it pre-assembled? Do you like the dual Z-axis motors? What about self-leveling? Have you had problems leveling in the past? Or do you just not want to deal with that? Or, you know what? You know, a lot of people will upgrade their Ender 3s, um, the version 2 as well. So you can kind of add some of these things later on if you want to. Now, is that your cup of tea? I don't know. you got to make that decision again for yourself. Either way, I really do like having a 3D printer in the house. I've been making trinkets for the kids, as well as different parts for my drone, so it certainly is convenient. I recently just made a video with uh, Paul from Dronesgator where he 3D printed an entire drone frame. We've done that a few times here in Half Chrome. I'll leave a link to that if you're interested in printing a uh, 3D version of one of your drones. We've got Whoops, Tellos, Sparks, and now DJI Digital FPV clones that you can kind of print on one of these things. Okay, hold on. Before you go, let's talk about 3D printing. It's not easy, right? This is not a hobby for just anyone. It's going to take some time to kind of figure things out. Now, like I said, I've had three Ender printers, and right now only one of them works. And I wanted to tell you a little bit about that. So this CR6 stopped working, right? I got a handful of prints in, um, and then it just stopped working. The original Ender 3 Pro, same issue, right? So I, I wanted to talk a little bit about that before uh, I finish this video. It's not all roses and sunshine with 3D printers. It's going to take some time and effort to make sure that your prints are coming out. Uh, good. Um, it's also going to take some time and effort to make sure your printers are running. So now I don't think that this thing should have stopped working already on me, which is why I'm letting you know about it. So I do have to question the quality control on uh, some of these Ender 3 products. Now, I, I have been in contact with uh, Creality. They, they sent me some parts. You know, I swapped them out, still having the same issues. They're working with me, so that's good. But I just feel like they should be a little bit better in terms of uh, longevity and quality control and things like that. So just so you know, <laughs> I had a problem with mine uh, and we're trying to figure that out. I actually got a buddy of mine who's a genius with this stuff. He's working on it. So uh, updates hopefully coming in the near future. So just kind of know that, um, you know, have other people had these problems? I don't know, right? But but I certainly have. So I wanted to let you know uh, that it's not all uh, awesomeness when it comes to 3D printing. Anyway, hopefully you found this video helpful. Uh, if you did, give us a thumbs up, subscribe. We got lots of drone content, um, camera content, 3D printer content, lots of cool stuff on the channel. And if you haven't already, check us out on halfchrome.com. Plus, we give away a drone once a month to a Patreon subscriber. If you want details on that, check out the video description down below. Hey, good luck, everyone. Have a fantastic day.